impulse purchase recently. It's the um, second generation million dollar puzzle. Which, if you missed it the first time around, I didn't do the first one because it was already sold out by the time I was made aware of what it was and by the time I was on board for it, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. I didn't even know there was gonna be a round two of it, but basically, the gist is this. You buy the puzzle, the puzzle is up a QR code, something akin to this. You can't just take a picture of this and submit it. It says on the back, this QR code isn't real, taking a picture of this won't win you anything. So, gist of it. It'll become a QR code by the time you're done. You scan it with your phone. You could win 25 cents. You could win a million dollars. Basically, this is how YouTubers play the lottery these days. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. It sounds fun. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. So complete this puzzle, scan your QR code, and you can either win or win. Could be 25 cents. Could be a million dollars. I don't know if there's also in-between prizes, too, or if those are literally the only two options. I also don't even know if anybody actually got the million dollar prize the first time around, but I'm like, you know what? Only way to be in the running is to try, right? And as somebody who has never actually played the lotto, I'm like, you know what? I'm probably gonna feel stupid when this is done if it only comes to 25 cents, which we all know it probably will. But I'm gonna make a video out of the experience and probably make more in ad revenue than that, so, you know, it won't be a total loss, so anyways. But yeah, it's 500 pieces, 15 by, uh, 15.7 by 15.7. Uh, they claim this is the actual size of the pieces. That is pretty small. That's about the size of my fingernail. Oh, it's gonna be a challenge, but I have a day off, so... Most of my days are days off lately probably tells me something about how work's going. But anyway, um, anywho, I'm gonna try this because it sounds fun. I'm gonna drag you guys along for the ride, so let's go.
definitely just realized I never did film the wrap-up on that million dollar puzzle. So as you probably noticed from the video of my putting it together, one huge thing with this puzzle, you need to do it during daylight hours because no lighting you use will accurately show the true hues of those colors. It cannot be done, it will, it just, you need to do it with actual daylight. And because of that, I technically got it to go together, but it wasn't correct. That said, <laughs> I figured out real quick and easily that, oh, if you just scan the picture of it on the website, or even just like a picture of somebody else's completed one, oh, now it brings you to the page where you put in your email address and see how much you won. So basically, I could have just done that and save the time and energy that I put into that. I got 25 cents, by the way. Exactly what I figured. Exactly what I figured. <laughs> David Dobrik, you are a troll. <laughs> For real, I keep getting emails, nobody's gotten the million yet, and I'm thinking, yeah, nobody's going to. I don't think anybody actually wins it out of that thing. I don't think anyone did from the first one either is the worst part. But some people have gotten higher than 25 cents. I think I saw a few people on the subreddit for it saying they got like 100 bucks. I am jelly, but <laughs> I would have even been happy with that. But I mean, technically, can't say that I didn't win anything because I did win a quarter. But yeah. Yeah, it's like that. <laughs> so I don't know. Um... I would say if you enjoy doing puzzles and just want a really good challenging gradient one, this might be great for you. Don't go into it looking for the monetary cash out because you're probably not going to get it. Or if you do, it'll be a quarter. Um, so, 
as long as you're cool with that and you're doing it just for the sake of doing a puzzle, more power to ya. Knock yourself out. But boy, oh boy, is this one a pain in the butt to do, being a QR code, because it's not even like a smooth gradient where you can find where it just like matches up with itself. No, you've got all the black pieces in between throwing you off and just, oh my gosh, I don't think I ever want to do a QR code puzzle again. <laughs> That was a fucking nightmare. And then to find out I didn't even do it correctly by the end, I was like, I'm so done. I'm so done. Screw this. I am not I don't even know where the correct pieces went. I just I'm so done. So done. But <laughs> anyway. It's like I did get a square out of it. I did get technically it to go together, just it wasn't correct. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, yeah, that was my experience with the million dollar puzzle round two. I don't think I'll do round three if they bring it out. I, I'm good. I'm good after that. I'm good. So, anyways, that is it for this one, guys. So, as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, until next time, bye!